Okay, to solve these questions involving conservation momentum where we've got collisions going on, you need to look at the law of conservation momentum. You should write that down. And what that is is the total momentum beforehand should be the same as the total momentum afterwards. So we said that before. The total after. So you need to look at how many objects do you have beforehand and how many objects after. So in this particular one, we've got one object uh, going to the right with a mass of 6 kilograms, a velocity of 2. So don't forget, momentum is mv. So you could write this out as being mava plus mvvv, and you should keep in mind the directions here. So substituting your 6 times by 2 would be 12 to the right, plus uh, 2 times by 4, which would be 8 to the left. So what you've got there is that, that next step there. So this is more lines of working basically. On the other side here, and you've your equal sign in as well, you've got one object there with a total mass here based on 6 plus 2. So you could actually put that in the setting out as MA plus MV times by 1 velocity and then substitute the 6 plus 2 times by V dashed. So we're going to cheat here and go that's actually 8 V dashed, 8 times V dashed. So to finish this off you would do 12 to the right plus 8 to the left gives you 4 to the right. Also subtract one calculator. Equals 8 v dashed. So times by 8 here we need to divide by the other side. So before going to the right divided by 8, that will give you v dashed. So I've gone over that part there. So it's about a half a minute per second. Alright, to the right. So that's the way you do the sticking together sort of questions. Two masses uh, moving at the start, one at the end, and so you're going to join them together. And it's actually quite easy to do. That would be the same process you follow here, and it gets a bit sickening, but you need to sort of do the locom again. So you used to write law of conservation of momentum as a sentence, so be thankful that I'm just asking for this from now on. So again, p total beforehand. This is the same as p total afterwards. You could do a dash to cheat here. That would also indicate the same thing. We've got two objects again, m1, v1, m1, v1, a. Going right, plus m, v, 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 going left. And if you substitute that in, you've got 12 minus 108. And here you've got 24 times by 0 because it's at rest. So you can leave it as 0, even if you get that part there. On the other side here then, you've got one object again, one big mass, one velocity. In multiply. So the big mass, the total, would be 12 plus 24 here. So that's 36 kilograms times v dashed. To solve for that, we're going to divide through this one here, down to the right, by... 36. But 36 is 108 there, which I think is 3 meters per second, going in that same direction to the right there. Okay, so I'm just going to do some quicker ones with you. Assuming you've done the same working out here, what you're going to get here is 8 times by 5 is 40 as a momentum. Here you've got to add it to 8 times by 10. 80. That gives you a total of 40 to the left. Is equal to, again, one object. So we're going to get a total mass of 18 times by V dashed. So I'm going to cheat here just to put this in. So you've got 8, 40 equals 18 times V dashed. So V dashed should be 40 to the left over 18. So about 2.22 meters per second left. All right, so just checking your answers here. Now, this is slightly different, this next question, because here they've separated. They've actually separated here. So you do the same thing on the left-hand side here. You're doing low com. So P total before, as a total, should be the same as afterwards. Put the dash in there. And we're doing the MAVA again. If you're doing full working out, you should do it in the test, that's for sure. And the arrow is there just to remind it's a vector. And afterwards, this time, you can't put them in one thing. You've got a individual MA afterwards. You've got an individual MVVB afterwards. So you can't write it down as one mass now. And that's where some people have been skipping it. So here we've got 5 eighths of 40. So I'm just going to cheat a bit there and miss a step. We've got 10 times by 5 is 50. Overall, that's going to be 10 to the left because we're in opposite direction. So it's a track there. Um, and on the other side here, we've got mass of 5 kilograms still for A. And we've got a mass of 10 for the other side times by 5, going that way. So that's what you're sort of left with so far. 
and you get marks for getting this guy down at the moment. So what you would do here is solve and get rid of this plus 50. So we need to actually put this 50 that's going to the right. You would subtract 50 on the other side, and then we'll lose 50 to the left. So you're going to add that to the 10 to the left, which gives you 60 left. And that's equal to 085 of that dashed. How do you find the 5 of the A dashed one? You would divide through by 5. Leave the 60 alone, leave the A dashed alone, divide through by 5, and you get 12. To the left, 12 meters per second. To the left. So that's how you do these other sort of questions. So skipping through here, and I'm just going to check the answers here now. You should be doing MAVA, shouldn't you, as one object, plus MVVB as another object. You know that one's going left, you are not sure about the other one. Equals, don't you the equal sign? And here we've got MAVA dashed plus MVVB dashed. So if you put all your letters in, it's not so hard, because when you look here, this time the unknown is on the left hand side, which threw lots of people. You've got 20 times 4 is 80. And this time we know everything on the right. It's 1 times by 40 is 40 to the left. And we've got 20 there times by 5, which is 100 to the right. So on this side, we can actually do this one straight away this time. We actually know the total afterwards, but not beforehand. So obviously it's the same the total four, but what's the unknown here? So adding 80 to the left should become add 80 to the right in the next line. And that's going to be 40 to the A. And from there, you're going to get VA is equal to this here, 140 to the right, divided by 40. And that should give it to you here. So you've got 4 is equal to 10, and you've got 3.5 metres per second to the right. Okay? So, same sort of method as the last one, except for you're doing a different part of the unknown. And you'll find that this question 6 is very much the same as that one here. What you're going to get here is 40 times by 4 here, if you do the shortcut method, which I don't recommend in the test, plus an unknown velocity, so we're going to go 20 times by an unknown velocity for B, equals, whatever it is, 10 times by 40, 400, left, plus 5 times by 20, 100, right, so you've got 300 to the left, and beforehand you've got 160, right, not this one here. So my next line is going to be to get rid of this plus 160 here. That, and put it out the side. So it's going to become 160 in the opposite direction, 300 left, plus 160 left, 460 left, is the top of the momentum there, and that's equal to 20 VB dashed. To get VB dashed, we will just divide by 20 to rearrange that. So 246.23 meters per second going left. Question 7. Now these are slightly different again. Uh, if you look at the idea of P total beforehand and P total afterwards again, don't forget your equal sign because this is the law you're using, the fact that they're both going to be equal uh, uh, before and after collision. So beforehand we've got nothing moving, it's at rest. Okay? It's going to be at rest and explode. So the total beforehand is zero, it's not moving at all. It doesn't matter what these masses here are, the thing is stationary. So we don't have to worry about MAVA, BVB. Now after you've got two objects, you've got an MAVA dashed for afterwards, and an MVVB dashed. Now logically, this momentum should be equal and opposite in size to that momentum to keep the total here zero. That's what should happen, okay? If you think about it. But in terms of setting this out, we won't skip any steps. Zero equals, now the mass of A is 8, the velocity is 5, and it's going left. The mass of B is 2, we do not know the velocity afterwards, which we're trying to find. So there's your equation, it's a lot simpler than the others. You've got 40 to the left on this side, you make it 40 to the right when you reverse it. It becomes the opposite, and it's 2 VB dashed. So VB dashed should be just 40 out of 2, which is 20 to the right, meters per second. So that's the sort of way you answer those. And the next two are the same. Basically, you started with zero momentum, and after you have two objects going with equal momentum in opposite directions. So we tried the ball and the gun one. 
and do the same sort of thing. It's zero beforehand and MBVB for the bullet and MGVB G side for the gun afterwards. And we know the mass of the bullet now, it's 10 grams, that's divided by 1000.001 kilograms times by the velocity of 400. And let's say the bullet's fired out this way to the right. The mass of the gun um, is got to be 2 kilograms times by VG dash, which we don't know. So what we've got here is essentially 0.4, 0 equals 0.4 to the right. Uh, plus 2VG dash. So reversing that, you're going to get 0.4 to the left now, so the gun's going to get backwards. And to get its speed, you're going to divide by 2. So VG dash should be 0.4 over 2, which is 0 0.2 meters per second left as a recoil. Alright. Alright, we've got a girl stepping off a boat going west. So if we draw that in there, we've got some of the boats sort of like that. And the girl might be stepping off to some sort of a dock there, so she's going to hit west. So let's say she's drawing off that way. That's sort of the westerly direction there. Now to start with, she's got to take momentum with the boat and her at zero because they're not moving. And then afterwards you've got a boat there and a girl with moving with a certain momentum, MV and MV. Alright? So zero equals the mass of the boat's 40 kilograms with an unknown velocity. The mass of the girl is 60 kilograms with a velocity of 1 going west. And we're just solving for that. So the 60 on the left will become 60 to the east. So the girl's opposite is 40 VB dash. To finish that off, we need to get VB dash on its own. So we're going to do 60 east here divided by the 40 because the other side is times by 40. That's equal to your VB dash. So your VB dash should be 60 over 40. This is 1.5 metres per second going east.